Hello, my name is Jürgen Thomas. I'm a principal program manager with Microsoft. The topic we want to talk today about is Microsoft using SAP applications with SQL Server 2016. Microsoft uses SAP applications since 1996. In 1996, Microsoft went into production with financial processes out of SAP R3 using SQL Server 6.0 as the database for this SAP R3 application. Meanwhile, the usage of SAP applications tremendously increased within Microsoft. Over the last 20 years, Microsoft introduced many more applications of SAP, like global trade services, supply chain management, new generation hiring, and many other SAP applications. These SAP applications are used for most of the Microsoft business critical business processes in the financials areas, in the sales areas, in the HR area, and in a lot of other areas of Microsoft business. Microsoft IT is always spearheading the testing of new SQL Server releases. We have a collaboration between Microsoft IT, Microsoft development teams like SQL Server and SAP development. The goal here is to test early releases of SQL Server to make sure that SAP application workload and other mission critical workload is running flawlessly on SQL Server. Therefore, Microsoft IT uses SQL Server releases that are still in development and runs those underneath SAP application workload and cooperates with SQL Server development and SAP development to make sure that the integration of SAP applications on new SQL Server releases as they get released to the public are flawlessly and that SQL Server itself is performing scalable, reliable, and highly available underneath SAP workload. In the case of SQL Server 2016, Microsoft IT started in the middle of last year to test early builds of SQL Server 2016 on a sandbox system of the 9 terabyte SAP ERP database. Workload simulation allows Microsoft IT to simulate high load on such sandbox systems, load that represents the daily work and the daily application workload on the SAP ERP system. The first round of tests we usually do are all about compatibility. And so we want to make sure with Microsoft IT and SQL Server development as well as SAP development that existing functionality as integrated from SAP applications to SQL Server still do work flawlessly, scale, and are available. In the next round of testing and proof of concepts that we are right now, we are testing new SQL Server functionality with SAP application workload. Interesting features that can be named for Microsoft IT in conjunction with the SAP systems are, for example, operation analytics enhancements that Microsoft SQL Server 2016 is providing with in-memory column store, or SQL Server 2016 query store functionality. A third topic is SQL Server 2016 always on that Microsoft IT is highly interested in. And the last one, SQL Server 2016 stretch databases that is under investigation with Microsoft. More to these four topics we'll have in the following slides. SQL Server in-memory column store was introduced in SQL Server 2012. From the beginning, SAP BW, the OLAP product of SAP, integrated SQL Server's column stores indexes. The expansion of SQL Server column store indexes as they came with SQL Server 2014 as well were embraced by SAP BW and showed great customer results, improved reporting with SAP BW tremendously for a lot of customer workloads. Now, in SQL Server 2016, Column Store will expand to modifiable non-clustered Column Store indexes. These are thought to be applied for more OLTP-type database schemas, 
and especially for the SAP case, are going to be introduced for SAP ERP database schemas. With these new column store indexes, we are able to support operational analytics functionalities or especially SAP COPA functionality for customers. The great thing about these newly introduced column store indexes is that you don't need to change any database schema except creating those indexes, nor is there any conversion of data necessary. Another functionality Microsoft IT is looking forward to use is SQL Server 2016 Query Store. With a lot of SAP applications that represent mission-critical and business-critical workload, deterministic behavior of the underlying database is key and very important. Business users expect the same response time, the same runtime for their business processes every time, anytime, independent of hour of the day, week, week of the year, or day of the week. For this purpose, Microsoft introduced SQL Server 2016 Query Store. Query Store allows us to really analyze queries long-term, behavior of queries over a longer term, and see whether queries are showing different behavior that can lead to non-deterministic behavior of the application. It's very important to guarantee and to provide a deterministic service to the SAP application workload, and with that, to the SAP business users within the company. So Microsoft IT is looking forward to use SQL Server 2016 Query Store to analyze the queries that SAP applications are issuing against SQL Server and really analyze the efficiency of those queries in order to improve the efficiency and with that maximize the value of the hardware and infrastructure investments that there are for the SAP applications. Another area that Microsoft IT is interested in are the improvements that come with SQL Server 2016 for the functionality of Always On. Since its introduction in SQL Server 2012, Microsoft IT is leveraging and using Always On as the most important functionality to provide high availability and disaster recovery for the SAP applications. Microsoft IT even tested this functionality before SQL Server 2012 was released with SAP applications and brought a lot of feedback to the development over the last four years. Individual improvements of SQL Server 2016 always on that Microsoft IT is looking forward to leverage is, for example, direct seeding of a secondary replica. So far, secondary replicas were created by taking backups of the primary, restoring those backups to the secondary, and then join that replica into the availability group. With SAP applications, we often deal with multi-terabyte databases, in extreme cases with our SAP ERP system, with a nine terabyte database system. So this process usually is a, moni a process that needs to be monitored, that needs to be observed, and includes manual labor. With direct seeding of secondary replicas, this manual labor can be avoided. The primary replica will send the data over to the secondary replica and will make the replica join the availability group automatically. Another area that we improved is the health check of individual databases that increases the availability of SAP applications in their databases, again, with always on. A third area that Microsoft IT is keen to leverage is the support of global managed service accounts. These global managed service accounts prevent the reboot of the services that use those accounts even after password changes. So all in all, the three functionalities that I just mentioned will increase the availability of SAP applications and systems that are leveraging SQL Server 2016, and also will ease up operational efforts and make dealing with always on less complex. 
Another functionality Microsoft IT is investigating to use currently is SQL Server 2016 stretch database. Microsoft is using some SAP systems that tremendously grow in their database volume. One particular system where we identify that it's only one or two tables that experience tremendous growth of more than 100 gigabyte a month is the SAP Global Trade System. The Global Trade System is used for denied party screening and needs to keep data in those tables around for a long, long time because of compliance reasons. On the other hand, the data needs to be accessible through SAP applications at any point in time. For this purpose, Microsoft IT is looking into leveraging SQL Server stretch database functionality. It looks ideal to offload H data from premium on-premise infrastructure into our less inexpensive Azure public cloud infrastructure. The idea would be that data that is older than a certain amount of time will be moved out from the primary SQL Server 2016 instance into a SQL Azure database instance that is maintained with SQL Server 2016 stretch database. The SQL Server primary instance then is always able to query that data that is sitting in the SQL Azure database and of stretch database. We are in a proof of concept with this functionality and the global trade system right now. We'll keep you posted about the progress that we are making with this functionality on the blog that is listed here in this slide. There are many other improvements and functionality that resulted out of cooperating with SAP, especially in regards to the application logic pushdown that SAP is currently introducing with their newest releases of SAP NetWeaver. In SQL Server 2016, we made a lot of improvements and even added functionality to make sure that this business logic that SAP pushes down from the application layers into the database is running flawlessly and in a very performing way and in a very performing manner. Other areas of improvements with SQL Server relate to scalability improvements in many core server areas and in large memory areas into the terabytes. These are handled and discussed in other videos or presentations. All in all, SQL Server is doing very well with SAP applications. SQL Server 2016, again, improving availability, scalability, and reliability with SAP applications. So we are looking forward for SAP releasing support for SQL Server 2016 within this year and are looking forward to work with customers that want to embrace SQL Server 2016 for their SAP applications.